In this week's roundup, a new species of glass frog discovered, rare footage of brittle stars, an update on Yellowstone's white wolf, and a case of crocodile cannibalism. Get these stories and more in this week's recap of wildlife news. Starting in South America, where a new glass frog has been discovered in Ecuador. Researchers found the new species in three parts of the Amazonian lowlands. At around 0.8 inches, the tiny transparent frog's heart is completely exposed. And another new addition was found in the Pacific Northwest. Genetic testing confirmed that the region's forests are home to its very own flying squirrel. The soaring mammal has been named the Humboldt flying squirrel. Staying in North America, locals in Newfoundland recently encountered a rare white moose. It's thought the speckled animal is piebald, a genetic mutation also known as leucism. Speaking of white animals, wildlife officials are still on the hunt for information on Yellowstone's white wolf. The rare animal was illegally shot dead in Montana back in April, and the reward has been up to $25,000 into the ocean with an unusual sighting. The deep sea research vessel Okeanos Explorer captured brittle stars hunting and devouring squid. These animals are typically thought of as scavengers and this behavior hasn't been seen since the 90s. And a new report suggests the sea cucumber gold rush poses a serious threat to the health of coastal communities. The squishy invertebrates are considered a delicacy in Asia and elsewhere and new fisheries are undermining local sustainability. Over in Australia's Kakadu National Park, visitors recently discovered that crocs aren't strangers to cannibalism. Experts aren't convinced that the hungry crocodile killed its rival. Croc versus croc fights are risky to all parties involved. Staying down under, new research has found that cane toads have a built-in salinity shield. To protect the balance of their insides during molting, the poisonous amphibian skin gets leaky, salt is expelled, and water is allowed to pass through. And one lucky roo was rescued after it fell into a canal. The Australia Zoo Rescue Unit were called out and managed to release the exhausted animal. Rounding off with a turtle party. These sunbathing reptiles opted for a moving rock in Kruger National Park. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below.